Hi, my name's Kirsty. I'm going to be born on the 18th of September 2014, the very same day as the referendum on independence for Scotland. The question is, what kind of country will I grow up in? Will it be a Scotland that is fairer, more prosperous, a Scotland where I can reach my full potential? Or will it still be a country ruled by Westminster? A country that is still the fourth most unequal in the developed world, where the gap between rich and poor gets wider and wider? Will it be a Scotland of opportunity? A place where free higher education will always be a right for all? Where going to uni depends on your ability, not your bank balance? Or will it be a United Kingdom where privilege rules and learning costs tens of thousands of pounds? Will the land of my birth be a true nation that stands proudly alongside all other nations with a voice and a vote to help build a better world? Or will it be a country with no place in the world? A country led by others into illegal wars and used as a dumping ground for weapons of mass destruction? Will I grow up in a Scotland where our wealth and natural resources are in Scotland's hands, harnessed to help everyone in Scotland prosper? Or will it be more of the same old, same old, where our money is squandered by governments who are out of touch, governments we didn't even vote for? Will I grow up in a Scotland where the decisions about our future are taken by the people who care most about Scotland, the people who live here? This year, every single one of us will be asked to make a choice between two futures. It's a choice based on who you trust to make Scotland a better country to live in, the politicians at Westminster, or people who live here in Scotland. A no vote means we stay with the present system, a Scotland stifled by the repeated failures of Westminster government. A yes vote means we choose a new direction for our country. In an independent Scotland, we can take the decisions that are right for us. Decisions like doubling childcare and increasing the state pension. That's got to be the right choice for Scotland, for all our people, and for children like Kirsty. When the 18th of September arrives, and I arrive, please vote yes. For Scotland, for yourself, and for your children's future. <laughs>